G'day, Uncle Jojo here. Today we are looking at plastic flashing. Now, every window system is different. There's no right or wrong way about uh, the best way of doing flashing. Um, as I said uh, in a video or two ago, um, we usually do flashing on the outside as well, on the sides of our windows, just to stop any breeze coming in and reduce any energy leakage that we have. If you have a look here, we have our aluminium frame running through. I've already plastic flashed the top. I've already plastic flashed the top along here. And this is the bottom. How do I know the difference between the top and the bottom? This has a place for our water to escape from our sill. So when the window sits up that way, the water can come in here if it runs down and gets inside you can see that we've got a place for the water to run out and then it'll just run off on the aluminium so we've got no worries with that it won't rot out the timber or anything else reason that we get timber on the inside aluminium on the outside is so that we get some thermal mass uh, on the inside if we have just aluminium on the inside then what happens is this fills up with air aluminium has no thermal mass whatsoever so the energy will just leak straight through the frame if we separate it we have timber on the inside and we have aluminium on the outside that way that we can at least keep some of the heat on the inside this is going to be double glazed glass through here so that'll create an air curtain um, thus reducing the amount of energy that gets leaked out we'll also on the sides down here we'll also put some flashing you can see our grooves here already so we'll put some flashing inside this groove uh, what that'll do we'll slide it in sideways you and then we'll fill this section here with foam and it'll separate the outside from the inside so we'll have our curtain we'll have we've got a thermal break so there's a there's a um, there's a section here that separates the inside from the outside there's a rubber seal you can see that running through there you can see the rubber seal running through there. So what that does is it separates the inside from the outside. We've got the timber, we've got the aluminium, we've got the double glaze, and then we'll have some foam. So this will reduce the amount of energy that gets wasted around all the windows. And we shall show you the flashing on the bottom as well. Here we have the flashing finished. It's along the back edge. We don't need to roll it over. If we rolled it over here, then our architrave would stick out. So we don't want to do that. We just want to keep it even with that back edge the whole way through. So that's the top and the bottom done. And we'll install it soon.